Hi everyone, I'm Shelby Meyer with ST Genetics and today we're out here at the Genetic Development Center in Navasota, Texas doing the phenotype evaluation for the Texas Angus Association Bull Feed Efficiency Test. Today I have Bodie Langford from the Texas Angus Association and Dr. Gill from Texas A&M University conducting the test. Can you please go ahead and tell a little bit about of what you're doing when each bull walks in in the evaluation process? Well, what we're trying to do is look at the phenotype of the bull, what he looks like as far as balance and his, his makeup and also structural correctness, scrotal um, quality, I guess you could say that, testicle development and everything else goes into that. But it's basically what we can see on the outside and how is it something that's going to lead the bull to be good sound breeders when they get home and just trying to rank the bull based on things that I see in them today. Awesome. And Bodie, with these bulls coming in, does it make you excited for the sale? Are you happy what you're seeing so you can report back to those bull owners? Yeah, I think the bulls are looking real good and uh, we've, had, uh, we've had a fairly hot, tough summer to, to develop them on, but it's cooling off now and they, they so the bulls have performed exactly the way we wanted them to. And uh, Dr. Gill is uh, is doing this phenotype and we've got a composite scoring system on these bulls that we developed for Texas Angus and, and his phenotypic appraisal accounts for 20% of 100 points. And uh, we think it's extremely important to have a, a structurally sound and correct animal to yes. turn out in your pasture. Yes, so not only will we be offering the um, scan of each bull to these bull owners, as well as the people who will be attending the sale, but they'll also get the score involved with it. So you could say it's a complete package for what these people can expect. And are these bulls, um, do you, are you seeing similarities? Are you seeing differences? What have you kind of been seeing as you've been coming through here just so we can kind of give them a little sneak peek of what they can expect? Well, there's been some really good quality bulls come through. Uh, there's some with some, we get real picky in, in this process, you know, trying to identify some things that might not be major, but at least we can identify them in the scoring process. But for the most part, the bulls are really good. Uh, looking at their game and it shows in, in their phenotypic appearance they've got some condition on them they've been mm -hmm. performing well so to me it's been a really good set of bulls to look at good good well i know we've been getting a lot of traction about these bulls in this genetic development center as well as the test so we're extremely excited for the uh, sale that will be happening december 14th can you maybe give us a little bit more information on that sale we're going to go through these bulls and uh, give them all a score and are estimating that we'll probably sell 75 or 80 of these bulls. We've got close to 100 here on test, and, and we're gonna we're gonna pick on them pretty hard and, and try and present our best. We've got 20 different breeders in this in this in this test, about 20, and uh, a lot of different EPDs and, and uh, uh, pedigree packages and, and a lot of variation in, in uh, phenotype. So uh, it's, it's an interesting set of bulls to watch develop. So you would say that if you're in, you know, the market for a good new Hang Angus herd sire, that this one might be a sale that you might want to attend with the variety that we're offering. There's going to be some good bulls for sale. Okay. Okay, well, we are certainly excited for that sale on December 14th. And if anyone would like any more information about the bulls or the sale, please contact ST Genetics, the Genetic Development Center with Gustavo Toro or the Texas Angus Association. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.